okay now I'm going to talk about the concept of a discount okay first take a look at the payment accounting without a discount so what's happening here is you're paying an invoice for hundred dollars amount okay so the cash is reduced by hundred dollars and your promise is also reduced by hundred dollars now let's say your bis uh, your vendor offered you 10% discount if you pay within 10 days how would that be captured uh, by the system what would be the accounting if you are if you're getting a discount that you originally you were supposed to pay hundred dollars but you're getting a 10% discount if you pay within five days or six days or whatever so that event would be represented like this in in the accounting uh, terms take a look at the first line accounts payable is debited by hundred dollars okay nothing will change here because you promised somebody that you'll pay hundred dollars okay then that promise was outstanding the loan was outstanding and as soon as you make the payment with discount you you don't owe any money to this vendor at least as far as this invoice is concerned so all the promise is reduced even though you're not gonna pay our hundred dollars but the whole promise is reduced okay now the net money you're paying is only ninety dollars because ten dollars you're getting off in terms of a discount so that makes sense cash is being reduced by uh, for ninety dollars only makes sense where would the rest go rest of the money go usually discount taken account which is you know created by accountant it's, it's most of the time it's a revenue account but it could be any income statement account it, it could be an expense account revenue account doesn't matter because you're crediting it eventually it in the in the income statement this would uh, appear as a as a positive revenue or contra expense okay so <coughs> this will basically increase your uh, uh, net profit okay let's say this is the revenue account uh, so you are recognizing ten dollars as your revenue so that means your revenue is increasing by ten dollars okay so this is how the discounts are captured in accounting uh, terms now the cash accounts and discount accounts are defined again uh, just like account payable account when you're implementing uh, at the time of setup okay so after uh, this topic as soon as we go to uh, the next topic which is uh, defining financial and payable options uh, for your accounts payable then we're gonna be defining all these accounts at that time that's why it's important to know the accounting before we move on because first all these necessary accounts have to be defined in the system <coughs> before we can start uh, using the system okay so just remember uh, this uh, discount taken uh, accounting 